You know, I've had so many iconic fragrance apprentice looks in my time. Uh, you know, fragrance Hobbit, sex offender. I don't know. But today, uh, I just look like Ricky's face. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I really miss um, working in fragrance in Sotheby's and Harvey Nichols was I used to do fragrance one-to-one -one co consultations. Used to love doing that. Used to, uh, you know, somebody would come in, they would, uh, we'd have like a, you know, 10, 20 minutes or, or whatever where they'd go around the store, they'd tell me and discuss what they used to like and what they used to wear and all that kind of stuff. And, and then eventually um, we would come to a fragrance that they that, that they enjoyed and that they found. I do sometimes miss the specific nature of fragrance because of course, you know, I talk about fragrances uh, or one particular fragrance or the other and you're gonna get 10 people who go, that's an amazing fragrance, we're so glad that you hyped it. And then you have, you know, five or 10 people equally just saying that's absolutely ridiculous, it's rubbish, nobody likes that. But today I wanted to challenge myself to try and get it so that I could give you 10 fragrances out of all the years experience that I've had where I can pretty much recommend these fragrances very comfortably and very confidently and say, you know what, anybody can wear these fragrances. I think, I'm pretty certain that anybody could wear these fragrances. There'll be some things that you have to consider which we'll talk about as we go through. But yeah, I wanted to talk about 10 fragrances that I could just literally recommend to anybody. I could walk out into the street right now, I could show somebody these fragrances and go, what do you think? And they probably go, yeah, that's, you know, at least we'd get, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good, I'd wear it. There's little room for error with these kind of selections. You really gotta think about it. I did think about it. I think that I've got the great, a great selection here. But before we get into that, I've missed doing fragrance one-to-one -one consultation so much that I'm gonna be doing it here on the internet. For the next three months, I'm gonna try it out just, you know, for three months and then, you know, depending on how that goes, we'll see. But for the next three months, for March, April, and May, I am going to be doing one-to-one -one Zoom fragrance consultations. For $50, you'll get 40 minutes, and if you're new to fragrance, or you've ever wanted to just chat to me for some reason, this is gonna be a great deal for you. But like I said, if you're a beginner, or if you're somebody who wants a fragrance recommendation completely tailored to you, then this is what this this is for. All in all, I've had five years experience doing this. You know, that was on a shop floor, obviously. I've been a sales manager for Creed, Tom Ford, Christian Dior, Procter & Gamble, and I was even an, uh, an account manager for Robert P. Gay for six months, but I don't know, I didn't really, it wasn't, it wasn't my, it wasn't my cup of tea to be completely honest. But it was fun and I really appreciated that they gave me the opportunity to do that. So yeah, I've been in this business and I wanna help you and I wanna help you now on a one-to-one -one basis. I've really enjoyed entertaining all of you and will continue to do that, you know, YouTube is just so great because not only do I get to talk about fragrances, I get to do it in a very cinematic way and really, really pull out all the stops. Like what I'm gonna be doing hopefully with the Aventus documentary and, and there's like, do, oh my God, there's like three videos this year. Come here, come here. There's three videos that I'm releasing this year. You're not even fucking ready. You're not even fucking, no, don't, you're not. It's gonna be, you'll know them when you see them. I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking sick, right? So yeah, lots of great stuff going on with the fragrance brands this year, but, I'm very excited to announce this. So 50, it's $50, this is what you do. Just email me, info at fragranceprints.co.uk for a Zoom consultation. I'm thinking of doing Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Um, so there'll be a lot of information in the description. So this is brand new, I'm kind of trialing it, don't know how it's gonna go, but if you want a one-to-one -one fragrance consultation, please email me, info at fragranceprints.co.uk. Email me with what you're looking for, what you want, we can set something up, we can set up a date, we can set up a time. Right, that's cool, let's jump into the list. So the first one is Prada Amber Pour Arm. This does not get the hype that it used to. This fragrance and the next fragrance doesn't get the hype that it used to, but at one point this was a hugely hyped fragrance. And this is such a beautiful, ambery, but soapy fragrance. This was the fragrance that really supercharged Prada into a very, very soapy, clean fragrance brand. And this is, I guess the biggest word for it would be majestic. Anybody can wear this very easily because it is extraordinarily cleanly. There is nothing offensive about this. Maybe at a push, somebody is gonna think that this is maybe a bit too feminine for them. But as this dries down on your skin, the amber warmth really, really can heat up and it can make it a lot more masculine. But if you just smell it like that, or if you smell it on a test strip, this might smell a little bit too soapy, it might smell a little bit too feminine, and that might not work for you. But if you put this on, if you allow yourself to wear this, this is really, really good. And the amber sweetness that's in here as it dries down is actually extraordinarily sexy. I just don't think that this fragrance deserves to die. Another fragrance that does not deserve to die and had all the hype in the world when it came out is Alorum Sport. Now, I still feel as though I have to be the champion of this fragrance because, you know, Chanel's moved on, people don't talk about the Allure line anymore, they talk about the Blue line, and the Blue line's great, look, I'm a fan of the Blue line, uh, Blue de Chanel, 
uh, the EDT, the EDP, I've told you before, it doesn't really suit me. That Parfum is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely wonderful. Really, really recommend that. I think that it's wonderful. But the original Law line is fantastic, and Om Sport is so, so damn good. If you're in your early 20s or if you're uh, in your teens, do yourself a favor. Go and check this out. I promise you, I promise you, you'll be shocked. The thing that I'm hearing with like Gen Z is they're going with um, Ralph Lauren, the Polo series, the, the Blue series, the, the Polo Deep Blue series. That's what everybody's buying from Gen Z. If you're a Gen Zer and you enjoy Polo, Ralph Lauren, Deep Blue, you kind of enjoy Savage, things like that. This is, well, it's not cheaper, but I can guarantee you, people your age will not be buying this. When you buy it, you're gonna smell different, you're gonna smell unique, it's gonna be great. But again, this is a fragrance list for everybody. Anybody can wear this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 90, 100. You can be dead and still wear this and still smell great, I promise you. Mont Blanc Explorer, it's fantastic, it's great. It is the designer version of Aventus. You already kind of know um, about this probably, but if you've never heard of this or, or, or for some reason you've been living under a Dwayne Johnson, this is the, the designer elements of Aventus put into a very streamlined, successful fragrance. This is something that I smell a lot, actually, on the streets of Edinburgh in the summertime, along with the smells of, you know, fish and chips and alcoholism. But in between all that, I usually smell Mont Blanc Explorer. You know, people hate it because it's not a brave fragrance and it's got a lack of balls, it's got a lack of, you know, boldness but some people just want to smell great, some people just want that, some people just want the simplicity and the straightforward nature of fragrances. That's kind of where the market's going, that's where the market's been going for a long time. You know, fragrances are getting more feminine and they're getting either more sugary and feminine or more straightforward and citrusy. Let's say you don't like Mont Blanc Explorer or, you, or you've kind of enjoyed Mont Blanc Explorer, you enjoy the kind of citrusy tone, but you want something a little bit dark, you want something a little bit challenging. This is the most challenging fragrance on this list but I still feel as I could recommend it to everybody. That is Eau Sauvage Parfum by Christian Dior. This is one of the greatest fragrances in the world right now. One of the greatest fragrances in the world. Absolutely astonishing fragrance. A really, really bitter, strong Neroli with this woody gumption. What is it that Jeremy said in that video? Nut, nut, nutty, nut. It smells like a nutty, nut, nut, nut accord. Yeah, it's like that. It's citrus, bitter, but with wood, wood, woody wood wood <laughs> in there thrown in just for good measure very mature scent very very classical scent very classy scent i mean the design of the bottle sort of gives away what you're going to be smelling and especially the juice color it's deeper it's darker it's more old school it's more well refined but even if you're a younger person you know even if you're in your early 20s i think that you can probably pull this off especially in the summer in the high heat um, especially if you're wearing a suit, if you're wearing something for, if you're going, you know, for a more formal look, this is great. But this is something that everybody's got to try out. Every bloke should try out because this is their inner sexy classic man, right? This is that generational masculine smell that has, has treated us men very well for the past 50 years. We should cash in on that. This is a tribute to all men, right? This is a tribute to, if you're a bloke, it is your birthright to own this fragrance. It is an amazing fragrance, an absolute masterpiece. So next one is Aquaregio um, Profumo. I think there was a discontinuation scale of this at one point. I don't know how they could discontinue this. The only reason why Giorgio Armani would discontinue this is because they don't like making money. An amazing aquatic, uh, sea salty uh, smell with rosemary and thyme, uh, and very unique, but yet still super wearable, still super masculine, an astonishing, astonishing smell. Compliments galore great fragrance something a bit different and you know that it's got that sea accord um with rosemary and thyme which really aerates it gives it a herbal touch but even as i'm saying this that may not sound attractive to somebody who's never smelt this but trust me it makes sense it's amazing next one if this one scares you too much then go for this go for vulgari man uh, wood neroli it is kind of like au sauvage parfum but street like taken all the way down from 10 to like three. And it's more sugary, it's more sweeter, it's streamlined, it's easier on the nose, but this is fantastic in the summertime. Very, very good. Really, really classic. Still inherits that classic masculine fragrance that we all know and love. Absolutely amazing, you should try it out. Next one, this is Gucci Guilty Parfum. It is not Le Parfum, although that is fantastic. Parfum is basically an amalgamation of all the Gucci Guilties rolled up into one. Really simple, really, really straightforward, bran flaky, sweet wood, 
cereal kind of smell with well, with quite a good amount of tonka bean. It's very street, sweet, very straightforward. You can wear this any time of the year. Obviously in the cold, this isn't gonna do as well, but it is a more woodier tonka bean, vanilla kind of ambery smell. Very straightforward. Some might even say quite bland, but I really enjoyed it and I can recommend it to anybody. Next up is Hugo Boss Bottle Tonic. I don't even understand the hate towards this. I really don't. Hugo Boss has released a lot of trash and they've released a ton of trash in the bottle line, but I think this one's fine. I think this one's great. It's a freshly cut open apple with some light and easy aquatic notes. There's a little bit of drier linen here as well. It's very, very straightforward, very, very simple, but I really enjoy the uplift when you first spray it on. That citrusy bite that's in here is really just pleasant to my nose. Obviously, if we were gonna choose between this and this, well, it's obvious what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick this. This is just so much better and so amazing. I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't look at me like that. I'm joking. Oh my God, the fear in your eyes there. Oh my God, no, it's that I would I'd pick this one. Or would I? Yes, I would, stop it. Stop being so scared. It's all right, I would have obviously picked this one, but this is fine. This is great, it's good for people in their 20s. I still wear it now, now that I'm an old man, now that I'm 30. So last two here. Givenchy Gentleman Cologne, talked about this quite a bit, it's good, it's really really good, I'm so looking forward to being able to wear this this year, and it really is a fragrance that anybody could wear, anybody, probably um, unisex as well, obviously it's Givenchy Gentleman, but I think a woman could wear this, I think a man could wear this, I think anywhere in between could wear this, I think that it's a fragrance, I think a dog could wear this, luscious, luscious, vetiver, citrus, lemon opening, just so great. So damn great. That grassy better. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried this out, if you haven't tried out this recommendation, you've got to. This is going to be fantastic for spring and summer. An absolute banger. But if this opening is still the opening that it was when it first came out, and that's the bottle that I have, it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 opening. And in those high heat days, it's going to be great. I, I, I don't want to give... I don't want to give something away here. I don't want to give something away, but for those of you who know and understand what I'm about to say, let the speculation run wild. But I might be going to Miami this year for a week to film some things for somebody that you may know. And if I'm going, then I'm going to be wearing this. I'm going to be wearing uh, Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. That is if the fucker pays for my flights. And finally, this fragrance was the inspiration for this list. That's usually what happens um, when you create a, a top 10 list. You usually just start with one fragrance, you generate an idea from there. Uh, and yeah, this is a fragrance I could literally wear, like recommend to anybody. A lot of you may have been ex expecting Blue de Chanel. A lot of you might have been expecting Dior Sauvage, things like that. I would actually cut all those out and I would say this because, you know, it's so overdone and, and everything and uh, everybody's wearing that. I've tried to keep these fragrances to fragrances that not many people uh, talk about or know about. But this is to me, like, I can recommend this to anybody, any age, anybody, any time of the day. It also works in nights as well. Anytime, any place, anywhere, anyone. Prada, Luna Rossa, Carmen. I've been telling you about this for a bit of time. I don't know if you can see. I've used half of it up now. Amazing fragrance. So wearable. I love this fragrance. I think it's an amazing fragrance. I think it's just so versatile in so many different ways. It's an absolute astonishing, astonishing scent. And if you're somebody who's looking for just a perfect casual fragrance, something that, again, you can just slap on at any time. To me, this is the ultimate Swiss army knife when it comes to my fragrance collection. Anytime, any place, you can slap this on. I'm fine. This is also my scent of the day today. So yeah, Prada Luna Rossa Carbon, amazing fragrance. Anyway, that was it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like, subscribe. But seriously, if you want to do one-to-one -one consultations with me, if you want to have a 40-minute meeting with me, I'm going to be doing that for the next three months. Go try it out. It'll be $50 for 40 minutes. With that, you'll be getting my wealth of experience, not just from you know YouTube fragrance community, but I actually worked in the industry. And I think that I'm only one of the very few uh, fragrance reviewers who can actually make that claim. So yeah, just email me, info at fragranceplace.co.uk. So it's all in the description for more information. But thank you very much. I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.